Howdy folks and welcome to this let's play of Stellaris, episode 18, which we are pl playing as Plantoids. My name is Cornelius and we'll be loading the last save game, which was the end of episode 17. So where did we get off to? Now we basically have been spreading our you know, travel capabilities through, of course, the wormhole generators. So we've been placing more and more of those strategically around the map. With the intent, of course, being able to cover a larger chunk of the galaxy. Now, I've also been colonizing a larger chunk here, so I'll be placing colonies here and there to be able to reach additional worlds. We've been colonizing various different additional worlds, some within our own borders, some within our vassal's borders. So we've got one vassal at the moment. And of course, I do want to make sure I got enough planets to be able to build enough ships. But at the same time, I don't want to basically infringe upon my actual science by too much. Now, of course, I will infringe upon it to some extent, but I don't want to do that by too big an extent. Now, I've got two sectors in my possession at the moment, and let's in the meantime get the clock running. Um, we have just sent out our fleet out to the system fleet to be able to engage the various units. Let me just set them up in a sequence. Actually, I can't set up a sequence. I can only set up the first one because I'm in combat at the moment. Construction complete. Hostile fleet engaged. All right, so we're engaging this unit here. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Colony established. <clears throat> Which is fine by me. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. In the meantime, I've just gotten one of my science ships to become available again here. I think what I want to really do is send them out to do additional surveying here. Of course, I am engaged in battle in this system here, so I want to basically set this science ship up the course so that it can actually start surveying these bits of debris. So I've set up a, at least already a course through various bits of debris. So I'm in the clock again. Doing that station, it looks like. We've got a very, pretty decent hit rate, around 80%. Situation log updated. Let's make sure we get back into formation and then we're basically engaging with the next entry. One of my ships was damaged, so I'm sending that home. Hostile fleet engaged. Speeding up the clock again, like I said. System survey. Complete. Engaging with the next station here. Situation log updated. Our scientist has gained a level, it looks like. Hostile fleet engaged. Research complete. Uh, we've got too Hostile many fleet engaged. So we need to do something to reduce our number of colonized worlds that we got direct control of. So what I'm going to do, this sector down here at the bottom, which is this one here, I want to basically spread the borders slightly. <coughs> okay, done. So that now has removed the excess of colonized colonized worlds, and we can now basically build our own psi warriors. <coughs> What's the next thing we're going to focus in on? <coughs> we will want to clear, of course, various different monsters. So we're going to clear these wildlife. Another system has been surveyed, which is fine. I've still got my ships engaged in various different tasks. So I've got a other world here where I can build a mining station to get access to situation log up. updated. Plus of course additional energy in here as well. So let's have a look at the next one in line. So I've got my energy production up and running here already. So this 
additional mining stations I can build here as well. Plus, what else? I can do additional mining stations there. I don't want to do that for the moment being. I want to focus in on research if I can, as well as on energy. Research and energy. These are the main focus I want to basically get from here. Now, this one is that within my borders yet? Nope. Barely. Even though on the map it looks like it, if you basically rotate the map, you see that it's not within the borders. So it's all about that little circle above it, that whether that falls within the borders or not. Alright, let's have a look. I think for the moment being, yeah, we'll have to basically go for some mining. <coughs> Situation log updated. Coming from having built another station at the front, wormhole station. there which is tropical but it's, it's tiny so I'm not sure that's really worth the time and effort to actually colonize it I do have some outposts here and I ideally want to get rid of those outposts I want to replace those outposts with proper colonies now I've got a colonizable planet here the question is do I want to really go for that one Let's at least go into orbit there and then basically decide afterwards. So 68. We do not have ocean colonization. Ah, okay. <clears throat> That's of course a good reason why we haven't been able to colonize it yet. We have been in combat and we again destroyed various different bits and bobs in here. And there is still one set of bits in there. Let's go to the last one. System survey complete. Hostiles, please engage. As well. And I'll create a, a number of these. I haven't even got a space station here yet. Let's make sure I do get one everywhere possible. Situation log updated. Because again, if I got a space station, I can of course build my solar panels, etc., etc. System <laughs> survey complete. So there's a fair bit that we can actually do with them as such. So I'm sending out my fleet to the next system. I'm upgrading my space stations plus I'm building some additional ones. Let's speed up the clock again. Where are we in terms of research? We're still examining debris, so that's always slowing down the last one here. Complete. In the meantime, I'm also still getting extra points in there. So we've surveyed some additional systems here. Always good. Debris analyzed. System survey complete. Right, let's go to our fleet. Our fleet. Construction sure complete. Unit that we Construction complete. We've detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Delphine 2. There appears to be in the late stage of the Bronze Age, having mastered early metalworks. Although most of their population is rural, several large city states have formed. We could consider building an observation post above their world to study them more closely. Alright, so where is this? That's still within those borders there, unfortunately, and there is already an observation post. Pity. <clears throat> pity, pity, pity. Alright, so we've got another ship here. Let's see, where is it at the moment? Down here. Okay, well, let's upgrade that with the latest, I guess, engines that we can actually upgrade. Construction complete. Teldar Ammunition Factory. Now, what have I got? I've got one of those. What does it actually give me in Teldar Ammunition Factory? It gives me kinetic weapon damage increases. Nope. No, thank you. So it's the same upgrade I can build on all of them at the moment. I'm not really interested in those. As you can see, I can build additional ships, but I can also start building destroyers. And I think I will start building some destroyers here. Now, they're more pricey, as you can see. But they should be more cost-effective in terms of cost. Hostile fleet pressure. engaged. So we're 
engage in the first set of moves here. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. They have unfortunately damaged us. Debris analyzed. Hostile fleet engaged. A single Corvette is engaging them, but now we're basically also reinforced. Situation the log updated. Alright, so we've completed another bit of analysis. Debris. Unfortunately, we do have a damaged unit again, so that's this one, I think. Yes. So in the meantime, we can send our ships onto the next system here. To engage these crystalline entities, the blue ones. Construction ship is ready and at my disposal. Negotiations have appointed a new Grand Marshal on their way. The decision will be announced. Uh, ah, so we finally got some elections, it looks like. And why do we have that? Because our leader has died, it looks like. So at the moment there are elections. <clears throat> and we can, of course, put some influence into those. Elections are in progress. Select a candidate to support or spend influence to keep our current ruler for another term. Alright, so this person is a Front of Honeydew. Where have we got that leader engaged at the moment? Front of Honeydew. Front of Burgundy. Ah, so that's our Admiral actually. So our Admiral is running for election, which basically gives us additional minerals. But also home in the sky, which basically reduced the space port build cost and module cost. Interesting. So we haven't got enough influence to actually do that. So for the moment being, we're just going to leave it as it stands. Ships upgraded. So our floating leaf science ship has been upgraded, which is ideal. System so survey complete for additional survey work. As you can see, those systems are amazingly close. So if you basically change the angle of the camera, it looks like they're on top of each other. But as you can rotate the screen here, as you can see, you'll see that there, of course, are not Debris overlapping. analyzed. Further special project completed. Construction ship at my disposal again. Mining stations I can build. Two of them I'll be building here for the moment. Research complete. Ah, cold fusion reactor, sweet. So wormhole generation rate. Ah, <clears throat> that's an interesting one. Calibration matrix. So we can actually do it faster, but also further. That's an interesting one. Actually, will be greatly beneficial. All right, so we got this system here where we basically have just encountered some units. We're engaging them. Now that is a destroyer. So I don't have any destroyers yet. Corvettes, but no destroyers. Destroyer Thorn, the 29th, really? Thorn, the 29th? Okay. It's the name, I guess, isn't it? Okay, so Seed of Life, a front of Honeydew, has been chosen as the new ruler and will reign until their death. Good. Welcome as the new leader. Now, how old are you? That's the one thing I didn't figure out. 101. So we just elected someone who's 101, whereas the previous one died at the age of 107. I'm not sure that's the smartest thing to do. But okay, what, what can I do about it? I've got no influence on that whatsoever. So we still got the various different aliens that we can actually investigate. 
and I might at some point invest some points into that. Engaged. Sapphire Crystal Sovereign Delta. Research complete. Debris analyzed. Situation log updated. Again, one of our ships suffered some damage. I think it's this one here. Plus another one. Let's find out which one it is. Alright, can't figure it out. So let's send them both in for repair. System survey complete. Got a nice game to level, it looks like. Just completed some research. Farming subsidies, continental worlds. Uh, let's do the farming first, but that should be a quick one. Further debris analysis. We have destroyed more Christian entities. And of course, we surveyed yet another system here. Fully. Still within their borders, which is good. At least we get an understanding of actually what it is they've got. Question I'm asking myself, is this costing me anything? Do these cost anything? If I look at the actual energy usage list here, it doesn't list actually any of them. Hmm. station maintenance but it doesn't actually list my wormhole generators <clears throat> is anything listed on here damage no speed armor shields no nothing on there so so built one station here, which I cannot already upgrade it looks like. Speed up the clock. some further debris analysis. Okay, so another science ship has become available. Okay, we'll send them out for the research projects there. Yes. System survey complete. Surveys. And I can. And I do actually have some other units. which is one of the things I wanted to build earlier already. Upgrade the base as well. Solar panels, and I do want to upgrade this one as well. 
to bring it up to the latest design base. Research complete. Finished research. System survey farms, complete. Which I talked about earlier, which is the cheap one for me to do. Uh, virtual combat arena. The virtual combat arena serves both as entertainment and a means to foster commu communal unity. Local armies may also use the virtual combat arena for virtual exercise. So that increases happiness. Army modifier army damage is increased by 10%. Interesting. It's purple, and the turple hill is a rare technology. So. Mm, these are full size. I was tempted by this one here, but I will go for the purple first. Because purples are so rare and difficult to get. Now, I rather wish that some of these systems here would have some colonizable planets, which they don't at the moment. Which leaves me in a situation where I basically got a big blank hole up here almost. <coughs> Unless I get the ability to colonize some of those worlds that I found, which I don't have at the moment. Mining station was built good. Construction ship ready. And again, we can that here to do further construction. Right, speeding up the clock. Our ships are still on their route. And I've set it to engage these systems here. A massive alien warband somehow managed to breach the reservation perimeter wall of Marjum Prime. The alien war is spread out to the countryside and massacred many of our colonies before their host was finally driven back into the reservation by our security forces. Primitive scum. Debris analyzed. Yes. <laughs> now, in terms of armies, I haven't actually built any armies here yet, so I'm going to build a couple of defensive armies. Hopefully that helps in terms of containing them. <clears throat> Hostile fleet engaged. I think this world I've actually got. Yeah, it's part of a sector, so I can't really do anything in terms of construction on the world itself. Of course, I do have this new world here, where I can start building various different structures. Now, I do want to build a farm there. I want to build another farm here, but I also do want to make sure... Situation that power updated. <clears throat> and I guess for some of these, I really need to start building in the open spaces. Power is one of the prime things I'm really, really looking Hostile for. Hostile fleet engaged. So I'm looking for a power hub here, which I can't do yet because it requires a certain level of building, which I don't have yet. Now, lab is prime here. I can upgrade all these farms, it looks like. I can upgrade a power station here. I can upgrade my farms here as well. I guess one of the questions in a minute will be, do I want to keep it as it stands? Do I want to remove anything else? Clear Situation logs well. updated. So farms can be upgraded, power plant can be upgraded. Farms again. And over here I want to start building myself a power plant. I've got a power hub here already on the planet. I think that's the one here. Power hub, yep. Yeah. It's another power plant, yes. <clears throat> I'm happy with that. I'm going to remove or clear these spaces here as well. I've got enough in terms of minerals to be able to afford all this, so not too worried about that. I'm going to upgrade this building to a planetary administration. At least I'm thinking about it. Should I or should I not? Let's hold off on that for the moment being. Okay, I'm going to build a system survey complete. Farm there. Perfect. Science ships are at my disposal again. I can't go into that system, but I can go into these systems. System here. survey complete. Alright, 
so <clears throat> just gonna move my way through them. I'm kind of hoping that they've been cleared from any aliens, so I won't get any interference from that. Now, since I've surveyed this system here already, I should be able to build here another wormhole station. Not sure I've not surveyed that system there. I think it's still on route of one of my research ships, which is okay. Research station will be built there. You know, always welcome. Oops, so our governor has died. Oh, no, no. Scientist has died here. Unfortunately, so I need to recruit myself a new scientist, which hopefully is a good one. Research speed military, biology, or anomaly field risk. Now let's have a look at these guys here. What have they got in terms of expertise? Rocketry, anomaly. None of those I really am looking for, but maybe this one is the youngest, so it might last the longest with me. Right, speeding up the clock again. The governor has gained the level. That's fine, which actually is the governor of Earth, I think. No, it's not Earth, it's Lavis Primus. It's our home world. Let's have a look at the aliens we are engaging here. Uh, hold on. Where is my fleet at the moment? And they've cleared that system already, so. If I go back to here and tell it to engage these, these guys in this particular order, let's see how quickly they are going to be able to get there. Hopefully before the survey ship gets into range. Anomaly uh, found. So we've completed the engineering facility research. What are we going to do next? The coil gun. I believe I'm still building various different facilities, which is good. I'm still building more destroyers. Good as well. System survey complete. Right, so that's ongoing. I might have to change the order in a minute of all of those bits and pieces. After the study of Per Quinn number two has concluded, science officer Petal of Silver reports that they have found the planet to be unusually rich in minerals. They discovered that was made possible in large parts thanks to the certain members of the Floating Leaf crew. Petal of Silver praised the Prodigy highly. Of the Prodigy, a science offers a position. Have them keep working on the Floating Leaf. Right, so this ship here at the moment has got the survey speed. Position. Sweet. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. The system here. So I want to just change the order in which these are done. Alright, let's make sure our actual fleet is getting closer. Yes, we are. So I think at the moment I got an additional scientist at my disposal who's not engaged yet. Now if I go back to my secondary planet here, I can actually build another science ship here, <coughs> which will be done in two months' time. Accelerating the clock. 
to its highest speed. Hostile fleet engaged. Right. So we're engaged in battle here now. Construction complete. So we just finished the construction queue here. It says. Where is that ship? Ah, it's not a ship we built. <laughs> of course. Alright, I can build additional bits here, and I'll have the same here shortly. Now, this sign ship Situation will be done log in 12 updated. Days. Combat was completed here. Construction complete. Brief look at the surface here. So food output is being boosted. I'm gonna clear out these bits here as well. Build some additional bits here. Symbol of unity, ethnic ethical divergence. Is reduced. Construction complete. Always useful, I guess. And yes, science. Now, given to where I'm standing at the moment, hostile fleet engaged. Any facility which I can upgrade. And at the same time, I'm actually seeing that I can build more here. Build a basic science lab there first. Another one here. Not sure why I didn't have them there to start off with, but given where I'm standing at the moment, I got a surplus of six in terms of food production. Now I've got enough food production ongoing here to be able to get rid of my, one of my farms. <coughs> so I've got a construction project here to upgrade this one, which I'm going to cancel. I actually want to basically replace this with something else. So I want to replace this with a what about a symbol of unity? Or a Teldor plant? What would that do for me? Empire modifier? 10%? Ooh! Teldor plants refine Teldor crystals for use in jewelry to dazzle and delight the populace. <clears throat> okay, um, that's even better. Uh, is it better? Mm, I think it's quite useful. Yeah. Let's get that built. In the meantime, I'm still engaged in combat over here, it looks like. Situation log Good. updated. So after we've done that, let's survey. Let's research that debris. So I'm now going to send these back in for repairs. scientist in there that I have been able to engage. Alright, that should be a nice mission for them. Anything else I can do over here at the moment? System survey complete. Construction bits, more mining, I would say. Since just we're just outside of our borders, which is a bit of a pity. And they are pushing their borders outward, it looked like, closer towards mine. Do I want to keep this system here then is the question. 
probably want to basically get rid of this. I'm going to disband this outpost. Surrender that space. Yep, no longer mine, which is a pity, but yeah, I can live with that. But at least it does give me additional influence points, which I'll be able to use later on. Brief look at our actual research that's ongoing at the moment. So there are still various bits ongoing. So virtual combat arena here, for example. Planet of the Unique, Army Modifier, Planet Modifier. Okay, so let's call it a day. Again, interesting session, I think. We've seen lots of things happening. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to your comments. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye.